welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to crochet these mittens. I already shared tutorial of mittens in my channel, but these mittens was crocheted from the wrist to the fingers instead of the crocheting from the fingers to the wrist. I think it's very easy to make these mittens, so even beginners can do it. So let's get started. I have used this yarn, it's called Big Merino from Drops and it's 100% merino wool. So it's natural material, it's great material. And I have used two balls of this yarn and I will use 4 mm crochet hook and 5 mm crochet hook, measuring tape, yarn needle and pair of scissors. Okay, start with a slip knot and then chain 12. And we are going to make uh, the wrist part of mitten. And I'm using four millimeters crochet hook just for the wrist part. And if you want to have a higher, uh, higher the wrist part of mitten, you can you can make more chains or you can make less chains if you want to have uh, the height of the wrist part uh, lower. So it's up to you. I have twelve chains. And we are going to make this ribbing. So now start in the second chain and, and make first single crochet. So insert your hook into the second chain. This is first, this is second chain. Grab the yarn, pull it through. You have two loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through too. This is single crochet. Make one single crochet in each chain across. So you should make 11 single crochets. In my case, if you have 12 uh, chains as me, you should make 11 single crochets. At the end of each row, always chain one and turn your work. And from the second row, we are going to uh, use just back loop. So if you turn like this, you can see stitches well. And we will use just this back loop. So start in very first back loop and make first single crochet and you have to make 10 single crochets so make uh, one single crochet in next 10 back loops and the last single crochet will go always into the stitch okay i have 10 single crochets Always make the very last single crochet of each row into the stitch because we will have nicer edges. Okay, and repeat it again. So chain one, turn, start in very first back loop, make first single crochet into the very first back loop. And make one single crochet in next 10 back loops and 11th uh, single crochet goes always into the stitch, not into the back loop. And that's all. Okay, last single crochet goes into the stitch. Then chain one and continue working till you reach the desired length of the wrist part of your mitten. And I will make 
32 rows in total. Okay, this is how it looks like. It's stretchy and now we have to join both sides together. On the side closer to me, I will use just back loop. On the other side, I will use uh, stitches and to make one slip stitch in each stitch on the other side and in each back loop on the side closer to me. And that's all. So just follow me. Okay, now it's up to you uh, what side you will pick, because I think this wrong side is nicer. So I'm going to pick this side and now we can make the pattern. So for the rest of the pattern, use 5 millimeter crochet hook. Start with chain one, and we are going to make a herringbone half double crochets, and you have to make one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And stitch is always uh, on the row. So on the row is one stitch and one stitch is between rows. One stitch on the row, one stitch between rows. So make one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, you have three loops on your hook, make a slip stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through too. This is herringbone, half double crochet. If it's hard for you, if you are a beginner, you can make normal, normal, re regular uh, double crochet. I am at the end of the round and here I have to make last uh, herringbone double crochet and then we have to join the round with a slip stitch not uh, in chain but in the first stitch this is the right stitch where you have to make a slip stitch then chain one and always turn your work. And you will repeat the same pattern as before. So start in the first stitch <laughs> and make first herringbone and make one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end, make 
last herringbone into this stitch and then you can join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch so continue working like this and make 11 rows in total maybe you have smaller hands so you can try it on your hand and maybe 10 or 9 rows will be enough. I think I have uh, bigger hands. Okay, this is how it looks like. And now we have to make the, the gap for our thumb. So you can try it. I'm going to try it. I think it's perfect for me. So now chain three and we are going to make the thumb hole and now we have to count count eight stitches and make a slip stitch into the tenth stitch so we have to skip eight and here make a slip stitch in the same stitch i'm going to make one herringbone stitch herringbone half double crochet and now i'm making left mitten and for the right mitten, I will show you how, how to skip stitches, how to make the thumb hole. So now we are making the left mitten. So make one herringbone, half double crochet in each stitch to the end of this round. I'm at the end of the round. So I have to make two more herringbones. One. And we, we started, uh, we started to crochet chain three here. So now we have to make three herringbone half double crochets into the gap so i have to make one more herringbone in the stitch and now we have three chains here so make three herringbone half double crochets and don't use stitches it's better when you will insert your hook into the gap so First herringbone, second, and this is three herringbone half double crochets into the gap. And now we are at the end of the round. So here is the first stitch where you have to make a slip stitch then chain one turn your work and we are going to continue in the same pattern as before before we made a thumb hole and this is how it looks like It fit me perfectly and now we are going to make the rest of the mitten uh, so the finger 
finger part of my thumb. So continue working in the same pattern and I'm going to make 16 rows in total. Now it's time for decrease. I'm going to try it and we will make two rows of decrease. So it's about two centimeters. So now it's perfect time for decrease. So if you will see uh, still your uh, nails, of three fingers you can you can start to decrease maybe you have uh, shorter fingers maybe you have longer nails so i made 16 rows in total chin one turn your work and now we are going to decrease so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch grab the yarn pull it through Make a slip stitch, <laughs> don't finish the herringbone. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. You have four loops on your hook. Make a slip stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through three loops. Then one herringbone in next stitch. Then decrease again. So decrease every second stitch all the way around. In the next round, chain one, turn your work. And now we are going to decrease by decrease. So decrease, um, decrease all the way around. So you will decrease about seven times. So now you can pause the video and meet me back again at the end of this round. So this is last round of decrease. This is last round of the pattern. Okay, and now we have to close the hole with the yarn needle. And I'm going to use just front loops and make a few stitch uh, in a round. So you can see it fit me well.
And last step is the thumb. Okay, you have to use the new end of the yarn and you can see here is the start of rounds. So start in the same in the same place. And you have to make sure uh, where you have to start if you if you have to start on the right side or on the wrong side in my case i'm going to start on the right side So this is how it looks like and I'm going to insert my hook into this stitch, take a new end of yarn, pull it through and chain one. In next stitch make first herringbone half double crochet and make seven half double crochets on this side of thumb. On both sides of the thumb, in this row, we have to decrease. So, here we are going to decrease, but the same way as we decreased um, on the top of uh, your mitten. So, this is seventh herringbone, half double crochet. And these two stitches I have to decrease. So this is first decrease. And then make one herringbone half double crochet in the next four, four stitches. Okay, and now I'm on the other side and we have to decrease again. So decrease twice in, in the, it's like a corner of the gap. It looks like a corner. So decrease. And then we are nearly at the end of the round. Maybe it's hard for you because you don't know where is the right stitch. But the first round, uh, first round is starting with 13 stitches. Okay, this is last herringbone, half double, half double crochet, and then join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and we are going to make one herringbone, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So you should have 
13 stitches at the end of the round. And the most important is you have to make the same thumb also on the other mitten. Okay, at the end of the round, make a slip stitch, chain one, turn your work and repeat it again. So, uh, you will make one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and make eight rounds in total. Okay, now it's time for decrease and I'm going to try it if it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's enough rows. So now I can decrease. And this is last round, so in this last round, make decrease by decrease. At the end of the round, join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch and that's all. Then cut the yarn and close the hole with the same way as on the top of uh, mitten. So use yarn needle, make a few stitches in a round and use just front loops. Okay, and make with exactly the same way also the other mitten, but little difference is at the thumb hole. So for the right mitten, you will not make the hole on the left side, but you will make it on the right side. So now for the right mitten, make one herringbone half double crochet in the next 23 stitches. Okay, and now you can make chain three. So you can see I am on the right side. So skip eight, first chain three. One, two, and three. And now skip eight and make a slip stitch into the ninth stitch. Then one herringbone stitch, herringbone half double crochet into the same stitch. So slip stitch into the same stitch, herringbone, and then you can join the round with a slip stitch because we are at the end of the round. So herringbone in the same stitch and then slip stitch in the first stitch, not in chain. Okay. 
And next round, start with uh, chain one, turn your work and continue working with the same pattern as on the other mitten. And these are my mittens. I like them. They are so cozy and warm and uh, the material is really great because it's natural and you can make also kid size. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.